Lita Zone is located in the Southern Nations, Nationalities, and Peoples Regional State. The zone has a total population of more than 2.2 million, with a land area of 4,384 square kilometers. This zone is one of the poorest zones in Ethiopia, with a per capita income of 729.7 bur, or 85 US dollars. Only 8% of the population live in towns. The other 92% live in rural areas and are engaged in agricultural activities. Standing at a height of nearly 3,000 meters above sea level, Mount Damota remains a major landmark in Walaita. It is known for its attractive and intricate topography, and it covers more than 15 peasant associations. The estimated total population of this particular area is more than 75,000, and the surrounding areas are characterized by a dense population. The mountain is the source of many streams, which flow to the various surrounding districts. In fact, it is referred to as the Water Tower of Walaita. According to historical sources, the mountain used to be covered with thick indigenous trees and many other types of vegetation that are typical to highland climates. It was also a sanctuary for various kinds of wild animals and endemic birds. With time, however, as people continued moving in on the site in search of land for farming, grazing, and settlement, the area eventually became deforested and degraded. Due to the population pressure, and the demand for crop production, more than 80% was deforested. And as the hills became exposed, it resulted in soil degradation, low agricultural productivity, food shortage, and a change in the agroecology of the surrounding areas. The wild animals were forced to leave the area, and many of the springs having their headwater from Demota either dried up or decreased in volume during the dry season. Soto Area Development Program, also known as ADP, is one of World Vision Ethiopia's projects in the Southern Nations, Nationalities, and People's Regional State. The ADP has been operational in the Soto Zoria District for more than 20 years, and has been assisting the community through integrated development programs. Soto ADP started implementing a community-managed agroforestry and forest project in 2006. It is a project which was started with the objective of responding to the land degradation and erosion that was rampant in that area. The project focused on averting the debilitating environmental situation and rehabilitating Mount Demota. To this end, the ADP adopted community-managed natural regeneration. In collaboration with the government, World Vision established legally recognized forest development co-ops. <laughs> The cooperatives were organized in 2005 in legal recognition. Now they are operational. Then, a total area of 503 hectares was delineated to be protected by the co-ops in order to allow the natural regeneration and enrichment of the plantation. This project accomplished some major uh, tasks. For example, project border was demarcated and we were able to produce a project map. Baseline survey was conducted to estimate carbon stock and the project site was stratified into three stratas based on their vegetation cover. Simultaneously, five nursery sites, having a capacity of producing more than half a million seedlings, were established in addition to the natural regeneration the nurseries enabled the planting of over a million tree seedlings, 80% of which are growing properly. The project also involved construction of over 20 kilometers of access roads in and around the forest site. The roads facilitate smooth access through the forest and easy movement for communities living on either side of the project site. Another major intervention of the project has been in the area of capacity building. A lot of things have been done, especially on capacity building, awareness creation, uh, on community as a whole have been done a lot. Because of this, uh, nowadays, really, the, the communities are empowered to the level they can manage the, this forest. The project has also been implementing various mitigation actions. 
which helped reduce the pressure exerted on forest resources. Uh, needy people in the community, which are directly lead their life uh, by encroaching forest, and such kinds of people were identified, and uh, we support them by uh, uh, providing different kind, different kinds of items like oxen, like swing machine, like apple seedling, and pullet chicken, and the like were given to such society. The objective has been to help the community create their own means of income, instead of resorting to depending on the resources of the forest. I took training, and they gave me a sewing machine. Since it was a special embroidery machine, I couldn't use it. I sold it and bought a typical sewing machine. Now I am making money resizing and selling used clothes. I managed to build a house and bought a household items. A similar story is that of Mr. Barata Binta's family. <laughs> Worldly Vision bought me an ox at a cost of 1,740 birth. I fattened it and sold it for 3,000 birth. Then I bought two other bulls and fattened them and sold them. Previously I was living in a hut, now I have built a house. Furthermore, I have a dairy cow, an ox for plowing and a heifer. I also have boats to ship, now they reached five. The support made a significant change in my life. A total of 13,000 seedlings, having a value of 429,000 burr, were raised in the nurseries. Apples, apple rootstock were produced in one of our largest nursery sites uh, to support community with apple rootstock in the future and to create their diversified income sources. Three of the five cooperatives were supported to construct a grain store. They buy crops during harvest at a cheaper price and sell it to their members at a lesser price with fair profit for their cooperative. The Kunasa Fulasa Forest Cooperative, for example, made a profit of 6,000 burr, or 375 US dollars, in one season. Each of the cooperatives are now able to save more than 40,000 burr in the bank as a result of such endeavors. 75% of the 503 hectare closed area has progressively regenerated into forest. Although most parts of Demota are still under the control of individuals, part of the communal land that has been protected by the co-ops shows significant difference when compared to the land situated at the periphery of the project site. ይ ዳሞታ የካርበን ፕሮጀክት እንግዲህ በዚህ አይነት መልኩ በአራት አመት ውስጥ ይህን ትልቅ ሪዛልትና ውጤት ያመጣ ነው በቻሌንጅ ውስጥ አልፎ እና ይከጥላል ገና አልቆመ ገና ሚቀጥል ነገር ነው ክልሉም እንደ ክልል ደሞ ያው በጋራ አብሮ በከጣይም የሚሰራው ኬዝ ነው The Damo Tech Carbon Project has achieved a lot within the last 4 years even though it faced a lot of challenges it is an ongoing project Damo Tech is one of the peasants in the region and the government is working on the development of the peasants so we will try our best to support this project to fulfill its goals one of the impacts is the improvement in the microclimate. The weather was changing to arid. Mosquitoes were also started breeding, but now it's getting cold and the mosquitoes were swept away. It is also reported that floods have been significantly reduced. By this time the mountain was deforested, when it rains there was a runoff, which rolled the topsoil with the seeds we sow. Because of this we were not getting good harvest. After the regeneration of the forest, the runoff is halted and we are getting better harvest. The grass has also improved, which is used to feed livestock, and wild animals, which were once kicked out from the site, have now begun to return. The Soto project, in a way, is successful as far as we are concerned. The livelihood of the people has changed, erosion is controlled to a certain extent, and springs that have died 
uh, in the past have now regenerated and are coming back. But we don't have yet a carbon buyer uh, because this has not been included in the CDM mechanism that the World Bank has applied for Humbo. So with World Vision Australia, we are working hard to find voluntary uh, buyers so that the communities ca could sell the carbon that they have sequestrated and would get some money out of that in order to, to, to improve their livelihood and diversify the work that they are already doing. The impacts, however, are not limited to the local community. They also have far-reaching implications to the global community because of the creation of improved biodiversity and genetic pools. It also contributes to the mitigation of the global climate change through carbon sequestration. The fact that it covers only five of uh, the, the, the Kabbalists, it, it is not applied in all Kabbalists. And this again is uh, a question that's being raised by the residents in that area. But resources are very limited. So we are encouraging communities, the government, and all other stakeholders to learn from this process that we are doing and replicate the lesson. We also would try if we get more money or more funding from other donors that will expand, expand that. And who knows? Mount Demota may be fully rehabilitated in the near future and restored to its old glory days and it may even one day serve as a tourist destination. Mm -hmm.